All right, everyone. It is me, Johnson Chan, and uh, I'm actually doing my Bitcoin video first because uh, yesterday, uh, well, interestingly enough, BitChute's having so many problems with processing. I thought they would have fixed it, but it actually turns out I just got lucky with my last two videos. And then I think my uh, what you call bit shoot video here is still yeah it, it still hasn't processed the thing from yesterday so yeah so anyway I've decided that I'm probably gonna have to make the decision to no longer do political stuff which I hate I really fucking hate that um, but I was I was thinking about it in my head right um, Let's see. Oh, we're still going to need a channel because I always want to know what number we're up to. Hold on. Uh, view your channel on YouTube. Yeah, there we go. All right. Um, oh, yeah. See, I should, I should even know the name of my own stupid channel, right? The Lemon Factor. I really hate that I... <clears throat> I really hate that I cannot even uh, change my URL on this because it's like such a weird ass URL. So let's see, where are we up to? Number 322. Yeah, so I'm making a lot of adjustments. I have to figure out, because I really like doing videos in the morning, right? I've grown accustomed to this habit, you know? But, you know, I'm trying to think. Let's say I keep doing what I do, I eventually make my, you know, video game, which I've told everyone. And then if I still keep doing my bit shoot shit going forward, you know, and then so I get deep platform. Then what am I left with? I'll bit shoot. I'll have Gab. I'll obviously be smart enough to already host everything on like the same servers as Gab.com. So I don't have to at least I don't have to worry about the game itself going down, right? Because you know Google or Amazon or uh, Rackspace or whatever decides to just say, hey, you know what? This guy, this guy's too crazy on bit shoot. You know, we're gonna have to pull the plug on him. You know, fuck that guy. Right? And we can't have that. Uh, but let's say, you know, I do this, uh, I go through the same treatment as, you know, Owen Benjamin or Alex Jones, and I'm like, hmm, you know, my, my reach ultimately becomes too limited, right? In fact, I'd be more of a threat because I actually, uh, invaded the most important part of, uh, of the culture wars. I actually created entertainment and video games is definitely in that space, you know, so, um, and then I won't. Then my ability to reach people actually get diminished. Uh, so, so then, of course, that means I can't help people. So, what do I do? So I'm like, ah. Uh, but there is one. But I start to figure out how do I filter out all the people I don't want watching my stuff, and that includes the Bitcoin stuff, all right? Because the last thing I want are all these idiots that like just, you know, don't want to be around you for like the dumbest reasons. So, for example, there was this game. I right, mentioned this before, Escape from Tarkov, right, you know, one of my favorite, uh, well, it was my favorite, but, you know, this game's too hardcore for me now, even because I'm getting old, so, you know, I, I need something more, I need something more boomer friendly and uh, casual friendly, right, so, um, let's see, we asked for his best tips, speechless, uh, while playing Howard 71 g Okay, I'm actually kind of surprised that all these assholes, um, these fake news terrorist websites, are actually saying nice things about Tarkov. Because before, they were, uh, oh, actually, here's the, I don't want to give them the page view. But they were actually uh, blasting Tarkov. For, it's like, why don't you have women, uh, women female models in your game? Oh, actually, yeah, it says right here in GameSpot. Escape from Tarkov, I'll let you play as a one. So they actually complain about stupid shit like this. Right, to, uh, they, they create controversy where there is none just to piss people off. Now, the problem is when I actually went to, um, I think it was a Polygon or Kotaku article yesterday, I read the comments. Someone actually said, Oh, they don't allow you to play as a woman. Well, now I know not to play this shitty game or something. I got like 162 upvotes. And that kind of actually really pissed me off because that's like the dumbest fucking thing to get upset about. Right? You know the term snowflake really is real, and I don't I don't want those fucking uh, retards, you know, consuming my shit. But the flip side is, you know, I need as many people as possible playing my game. So, what's the what, what what's the nice middle ground compromise, right? You know, now that I can't do you know my political shit anymore, right? I gotta transfer the best aspects of my political shit into my Bitcoin stuff, my video game stuff, and ultimately everything that I'm gonna have to develop for you know cryptocurrency. Yeah, especially especially now because uh, prices are starting to um, 
go berserk right now, but you know, we'll get to that soon enough. So anyway, now I have to do a huge mental restructuring. But um, yeah, I, I already did the uh, flow chart for my game. Uh, let me see. I should still have the URL for it. Let me see. Let me make sure there's nothing like crazy uh, in here. Okay, yeah. So the flow chart looks like this. Uh, authorize this app in Google Drive. Okay, I better actually... Um, I better actually hide this because it shows my email address, all right. Do not remember me. Wait a minute. Why does it need authorization? I have the shareable link, I thought. Oh, here it goes. Share. Anyone can view, copy link. There we go. Because I actually, because again, I don't want to be, oh, okay. Can, can people see this? Oh, okay. There we go. All right. There is nothing. Okay. So here we go. Uh, my stupid camera. Oh, I can still move around, so. Anyway, I just call it a... Because I actually do know the name, but the problem is I don't want to spend, like, the two, three, five hundred dollars to put in the patent for it, because, like, this is... I'm actually going to be sourcing material from my uh, Dream Video Game series script, so there's going to be lore. Because lore is actually pretty important, because you actually make a game based on lore, and then it, it all... It's hard to explain, but basically there's a reason why when mo when you make a movie or show... They have a storyboard, they create content, uh, written content, like a story, and then they draw all the shit before they actually build the models and stuff, right? There's a real process. There's a reason why you do that, because you need to see what it is that, you know, you're trying to convey in your story. And then you'll look at it and go, okay, this makes sense, that does not make sense. Oh, let's actually build upon this and create this new thing, and so on and so forth. Why is the resolution for this so shitty? So anyway, it's basically like what I wanted, like Tarkov, except more casual, and then I also want to like add in other shit, right? I like I like the city builder stuff. I like crafting, so we have a better crafting system. And then these are two are the actual main components of the game, where you just simply queue all the time. So it appeals to both casual and hardcore players. Um, I still like the turn-based, uh, 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 what you call it, turn-based game stuff over here. So, I don't know, I have, when, when I get to the module on my programming course about programming turn-based games, I could put that. And then the future idea would be, like, pet farm stuff, like Maple Story, if anyone's ever played it. This is actually where I actually get all the women to, you know, play the game or something. Because women and men do play a lot of these games, but men obviously favor FPS shooters because we're men, so obviously we like guns. And women... They tend to, you know, like something more like puzzles and shit. So how how, how do I, you know, uh, attract these uh, uh, these de different different graphics? So anyway, ultimately, I create this game. You know, at that point, I'll know how to program hopefully, and I should be able to hook it up to the, you know, four hundred four JMC coin and whatever uh, cryptocurrency wallets, and then you know, certain pay to win unlocks will <clears throat> will only be you be uh, uh, unlocked if you buy the jmc and 404 coin and that's going to give you a pretty good advantage in the game and everybody can do it too so even if you don't pay a single set you can still get the premium in-game shit by watching the ads or you know just playing my game a lot so you know i, I mean i have the whole thing figured out so i've been dreaming about this for a long time along with other stuff so it's going to be good but um yeah i have to create the game that i've always wanted so the good news is these cryptos have a great future the bad news is in the short term and possibly medium term it's going to be um <laughs> kind of rough but yeah that's why i have to make the adjustments that's why i've got to start cleaning my shit up eventually i'll have to hide my bit shoot channel and all that stuff and then uh, i don't know I'm, i guess i'll just retweet um uh, you know, Nick Fuentes on my Twitter line or something. So I'll still get flack in a couple years or whatever once I get big enough. And then I have the stupid, uh, stay safe on YouTube. Then I have the stupid fucks from Polygon and Kotaku like, attacking me. Yeah, and then it's going to go Mike Cernovich vote on them. Uh, so, yeah, you know, because like Nick Fuentes said, 2020s is going to be the decade of survival. All right. Can you survive under the uh, coming oppression, right? The umbrella of big tech. Well, the answer is yes. You'll have to make some sacrifices, though. So anyway, Bitcoin interest for last week is still stuck at 7 for Google. Uh, what you might call it? 
Bitcoin dollars is at 65.9%. Uh, 24 hour volume is very low at 70, a little under 75 billion. So, uh, you know, um, you know, exhaustion, uh, cause you can only remain angry and hateful and afraid for so long. Cause right now everyone's going crazy over the China flu shit. Right. In fact, I think the death toll has risen. Last well, so I was at 56. Let's see. Wuhan flu. Uh, cause right now this is actually what's causing everything to go down. Right. And it's just good. And I find that, you know, it takes about three days for people to adjust. They're like humans naturally adjust to any situation, even though it's horrible. Uh, after about three days, it's just a psychology thing. I guess you can thank Jesus Christ for that one. It is not snake flu, 14, test negative, and UK's military doctor sent to Wuhan as it happened. Okay, so that's good. Yeah, I've actually read that a Chinese doctor he was 62 years old. He was in Wuhan treating people for it, uh, the Wuhan flu. Then he got it himself, and then he died. It's like he made their ultimate sacrifice to save people. I felt so bad. But hopefully, you know, he's, uh, he's happy with uh, Jesus Christ up in heaven for eternal life. So... God bless that, man. Anyway, uh, far deadlier, blah, blah. Okay, so I don't feel like digging. But basically, people are still going nuts. But I think they're starting to finally adjust because, as you can see here, Bitcoin is at 84.59. So after a flatlining period due, and then a decline because of the Wuhan China flu shit, it's now looking like things are going back up. And today is the weekend, too. So we had a really big 1-2 negative punch. And finally, we're getting over this hump. Uh, so, so far so good. Litecoin's at 54.56, also going up. So as you can see, green across the board. What's so, oh, so Bitcoin Cash seems to be up. Okay, so it looks like everything's going back up now. Very, very good. Doggy Coin is at 280.6 million market cap. So, I don't know, it still looks a little bit up and then flatline, but still up 1.57%. So, all right, fine, whatever. Uh, steam 15.78 cents so same thing here so things are going up a little bit we're definitely not out of the woods yet especially since uh, if more people die from the China flu well that's definitely gonna prolong uh, the fears especially nowadays because people are so jacked up on fake news terrorism that they'll you know I always tell people don't watch the fucking news right you know exceptions would be on the internet people like me or Nick Fuentes or I don't know if you're left wing you probably watch like I don't know, what, what's that guy's name? David Pakman or Tim Pool or whatever, right? But the point is you want to watch independent media and not, you know, ca uh, mainstream cable news media, which I know is hard because they're still all over the place. But, you know, the, the point is mainstream media, whether it's left or right, is specifically designed to warp your mind and make you afraid all the time, which is why I find it so irritating because this is exactly what they want. The more afraid you are, you know what you're going to do? You're going to start dumping all your crypto and shit. You're going to start going into poor people mode. And that's what they want. And it's very annoying, all right? Especially if the these evil rich people are shorting the markets, right? So, <laughs> yeah, you got to get the stupid plebs and stupid investors to, you know, dump everything. So, and of course, you know, it definitely has a negative effect on these cryptos. So, JFC is at two to three. Um... Yeah, so I've been trying to figure out what has been going on, and I think, I think what it ha what's happening is someone that actually really liked these cryptocurrencies is now dumping like their entire holdings. So that's why the selling pressure has been unusually large on JMC four hundred four and even two by two coin. So the good news is I'll eventually run out of money to dump. The bad news is, uh, well, I have no idea how much money they've you know put into this, so it might be a while. Uh, four, four, four by four coin, of course, has been one of the hardest hits. As you can see, there's plenty of buying demand, but the problem is someone, who, the per, people who keep dumping, are dumping like several million, right? Several tens of millions. So over the past couple of days, basically, four of four has like a trade volume of nearly one thousand dollars a day. That's how that's how much dumping is going on uh, on Crex. Uh, of course, it's annoying. So once the once the stupid fuck is out of uh, four of four coin and dumping. Prices should eventually go back up, right? Uh, I'll have to see, we'll have to see what happens when crypto, uh, you know, goes back up this week as well. Uh, if it does, right? Because there's just too much negative pressure right now, especially with the stupid China flu shit. It's it's really inconvenient timing. Uh, but in the meantime, 404 is at 16 to 17. But to be honest, I'm definitely waiting for 20 to 24. Uh, you know, it's definitely going to go back up, uh, or as it should. I mean, just 
like, look, like as soon as someone dumped a lot, someone already wanted to buy like six million uh, uh, four four coins, right? And there's probably even more down here, but I don't want to do the math. All right, so there's just a lot of crazy uh, activity going on. Two by two coin has been kind of stable, right? It's been at fifty six to fifty seven. You know, because there's so little supply in two by two coin, it's going to be kind of hard to really just dump because you don't have a lot of supply to dump with. At least not yet. Maybe give it a year. But hopefully by then, my game should be kind of out, right? And hopefully uh, implementing the payment system with crypto won't be too difficult. Excuse me. So, you know, when I reach that point, I'll have to, I'll have to see if, uh, I mean, I'll have to find out. I'm going to have to, I'll ask Andrew Torba what uh, domain server that he's using to host Gap.com. I'm hoping they're not too much more expensive than Amazon or Google or Rackspace or whatever. All right. So, because, you know, because uh, the last thing I want is to host on like, you know, some big corporation, right, that from big tech, and then, you know, the hit pieces come in after a few years, and then they decide to, you know, uh, t take out the server. Then the game instantly dies right there, because, like, you know, they, you know, sure, they'll piss off millions of people or whatever, but they obviously don't care, right? So, you know, I mean, I need to, you know, take that into consideration. But, I mean, money is still a problem, too, right? So, uh, 56 to 57, so very good. But, yeah, I'm... Um, I was formulating what I'm going to do between now and going forward, right? Especially the free marketing aspects. Again, the games on Apple, uh, Google Play, iTunes Store. Uh, what is it? The Apple... Uh, yeah, the Apple App Store, whatever the hell they call it. And then, of course, Steam, right? And then from there, you know, as long as the game is functionally decent, right? Because it's not going to look great. I'm just going to be using a lot of placeholder graphics and then I'll by uh by uh asset graphics from the As unity asset store which is actually pretty good and then you know it'll still be kind of shitty but at least it's something and then yeah just build it out from there and then yeah uh we should be set uh where was i going with all that but yeah the whole point is as long as the game is good all those places people will just naturally through word of mouth say hey you should play this guy's game you know blah 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 right so anyway, uh, compound coins improved a little bit to my shock and surprise. It's now at forty-two, forty-eight to sixty-five hundred satoshis um, of a doll coin. According to this, people have been buying, but is it a lot? No, they're not even buying anything. Yeah, it's mostly just sells. Um, yeah, the last big buy order was still kind of during that huge uh, buying phase. I mean, I guess if you're willing to wait, you could try to gamble and get a little bit more. But uh, for me, I, I just sell at whatever the minimum price is. I don't even bother waiting. All right, because compound coin still has a, a lot of problems. Um, I read it's Bitcoin strategy to beat Trump's maximum pressure. We're actually going to go look into that uh, as the next article. Bitcoin ETF hopes rise as investors move to non-transparent ETFs. What is this? Yeah, I don't know what's been wrong with uh, the Daily Holdo, but there's actually a lot of good articles showing up on Google News now, and for some reason, Daily Holdo is not capturing a lot of it. Consider how much uh, articles they pump out in a day. Uh, technical indicator, we don't care about technical analysis because it's all scam. Uh, strange with, okay, so that's just not, all right, so let's find out. What is this? Uh, let's make this bigger for you guys. Also, now that I'm not uploading a bit shoot anymore, uh, you know, I'm going back to high quality 810p. So it's 1440 by 810. So by the time you watch this in high def, yeah, you should be seeing what I see. Hopes for Bitcoin ETF has risen as investors begin to participate in non transparent ETFs. The move to this new segment on the market indicates a shift from traditional. Blah, 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 blah. ETFs, Jared, okay. Uh, can you just get to the point? Uh, okay, so this thing has not named, okay. This newest fund style is generating new hopes of the Bitcoin ETF from e, uh, DDD, the SEC uh, in the near future, right? Because right now, this year, uh, ETF approval chances 60%. Uh, that's what we read in previous Bitcoin uh, Cloud World videos, articles. So, and hopefully by next year, it'll also be 80 to 100% because we really need an ETF uh right now because you know by the time they come out with an etf you know the bull run for bitcoin and crypto is already going to be over right you know we need we need an etf so we can short the market because i really don't want to have to use ledgerx.com but yeah 
that that uh, that may be what we have to use. Uh, okay, so this article was just completely useless. It didn't even say anything like whatever. So yeah, oh well. Anyway, Bitcoin and crypto mine could add eight and a half billion Iran's economy. Officials grant a thousand licenses. So if you remember from previous uh, videos, Iran was initially uh, very hostile towards Bitcoin. But now that Donald Trump and America is applying maximum sanction pressure, then on top of that, all the uh, angry young millennial types are going to be careful because, you know, community guidelines, stupid bullshit. Uh, certain types of young Iranian Muslims, uh, you know, th that are actually under the mind control of the globalists. Uh, are actually agitating for change in Iran, and the Ayatollahs of Iran don't like that. So now they're getting desperate. And that's what we actually like. We, when people get desperate, they are forced to open their minds, because either you open your mind and then you try new things, or you just become annihilated. So, um, you know, it, it's just how it goes. It's the same thing that happened with me, right? You know, it, it wasn't until, like, I was at the bottom of my depths that I had pretty much no money. I was, like, completely all by myself. That I was like... You know what? I'm just gonna go back to believe in Jesus Christ because I've tried literally every single else, everything else for decades, and then like it just didn't work. So let me try that. Maybe that'll help me with my money problem. And that was uh, ten years ago, and here we are. You know, so definitely a very good, important decision that I made. Uh, let's see. After developing new regulations for digital assets, Iran's government is now granting a thousand licenses for crypto mining. Very good. Several large crypto mining facilities are now operating throughout Iran, but high electricity costs are reportedly keeping smaller players from entering the market. Yeah, if you know, if you're not familiar, Iran has a huge electricity problem, which is why they develop nuclear weapons uh, technology because they need the nuclear power from nuke tech to uh, create cheap electricity. That's also clean, but of course, they can also simultaneously allow you allow Iran to have nukes. So obviously, you could see the dilemma that Iran has. Uh, Amir Hussein Saidi, an official at Iran's ICT, okay, whatever, I'm not going to read the whole thing. Many residents are interested in setting up their own Bitcoin mining operations, yes. He adds that crypto miners must acquire a license from the nation's M Ministry of Industry, Mine and Trade. Our studies show that blah, 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 we already know because that's the title of the thing. Saidi says several large industrial farming miners have already been set up by big investors entering the space. Oh, that's the end of the article. All right, so Iran's already getting into the Bitcoin mining um, uh, game because they have no choice. So that's actually good for us. Um, despite their problems, they're devoting a lot of resources to Bitcoin mining. So, yeah, if Iran has to get into Bitcoin, then you know everyone else is going to as well. You know, in their case, they have to do it. That's actually kind of interesting. Uh, so it's a little too bright and purple. Uh, so I think I'm going to make this the thumbnail. So that's good. That's good. All right. You know, so the Middle East is actually, you know, producing us some value instead of just, you know, causing political problems for everybody. NASDAQ is looking at Bitcoin futures, says CEO. OK, so this is what we want to know. Oh, yeah. By the way, now that I'm only doing one video a day, essentially, at least for now, you know, uh, my Bitcoin video is going to be a little longer than usual. So, uh, you know, because I still like doing videos. Right. But, you know. Uh, it's uh, it is what it is. I also have to figure out what I'm gonna sell. I still have to figure out once I have my game studio, right? I'll definitely put up updates here, but I'll probably switch channels and put it on the game the game studio one only. So I have to I have to think about that too. Uh, Adina Friedman, CEO of Nasdaq, the world's largest second. Uh, Okay, confers that company is considering launching Bitcoin futures with an unnamed business partner. So it's not quite an ETF, but a future is better than nothing because, again, it lays the groundwork that will eventually lead to an ETF because futures have to have a regulation. So that means the government entities like the SEC, uh, CFTC, CBOE, all those alphabet people, I don't want to say their whole names. Basically, all the actual government uh, regulated uh, derivatives options markets, they'll uh, take those same rules and regulations and then use it to, you know, build the ETF regulations. And that's what we want, unfortunately, so that they can finally release a Bitcoin ETF. Then we could just go into like, you know, what our trade broker and just go into the options right over here and then just simply buy or sell a two year puts, hopefully. 
which is why we're going to be taking a look at can once uh, the three months are up for them and then we can see what options are available. I don't expect them to actually have two year options uh, available right off the bat, but we'll see. Uh, we've been working with the industry, a great partner. Okay, I don't want to read this whole thing. Okay, so blah, blah, blah. There were, uh, Freeman released the broad outlook will include crypto. Blah, 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 blah. The first euro denominated Bitcoin exchange trade note, Bitcoin tracker euro was launched on. Okay. So for a new product, Freeman's updates delays in a series of confirmations. Excuse me. Hmm. Gotta make sure I burp even a little bit just so I don't get the hiccups later. Bloomberg reported in November 2018 that NASDAQ was actually looking into Bitcoin futures. So they were actually looking at this for two, almost one year. November 2019. Oh, okay. So a year and a half, a little under a year and a half. Okay. So futures are still not the best, but you know, <clears throat> NASDAQ obviously is a very huge market, right? It's like what, a couple hundred billion a day or a trillion a day or whatever the hell the daily trade volume is on for NASDAQ. So, uh, yeah, so cryptocurrency is definitely going more mainstream. It's getting more free advertising. It's getting more uh, everything. So, you know, uh, the fundamentals are still getting even stronger for, again, a Bitcoin at $1 million. And that's what we want. Obviously, we want more than a million dollars for Bitcoin because then that means Litecoin is going to be worth like 11 gorillion dollars. Well, actually, it's more than like 60 grand to 100 grand. That's, that's like, I think, my scale. Uh, hell yeah, so we're not a bit shoot anymore. So anyway, if you like what you saw, right or heard, hit the like button, the follow button, or subscribe button from wherever you're watching from, or on my, uh, YouTube, ugh, uh, at, you know, whatever, the Lemon Factor BTC. So, I don't know, I'm just not going to even do, uh, the thing, because I just don't like Google or YouTube, but I have no choice, uh, for the time being. Um, and it also means I have to remove the bit shoot link on my thing, too. So let's see. Customized channel, so I'll make sure I do that. So anyway, uh, obviously, uh, I'm just doing one video today. Uh, I mean, I'll probably be the norm going forward, but I'll be doing these every day. So uh, whatever. Uh, hit the subscribe button. I'll see you all in tomorrow's videos. And uh, yeah, uh, think about what I said. I covered a lot today. Um, and again, going forward, now that I'm only doing one video, I guess my videos will be a little longer. But um, yeah. Uh, which one call it? Yeah, because now I don't have other videos, so you know any other any other personal updates I do also have to go here too. So anyway, uh, let's hope tomorrow is a better day because uh, it'll be Monday, so everybody will definitely be at work throughout the whole world. So um, so far things are looking good, but you know people are still pretty nervous about that China flu stuff. But at least this this indicator shows me uh, that people are finally getting over the China flu fears. Because once that stupid fear is gone and nothing else crazy happens. Uh, hopefully the bull run should, re you know, resume its course, but we'll see. All right. Thanks for watching. See you all in tomorrow's videos. And, uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day or night. Thanks. Judson Chen, JMC coin, 404 coin, and yeah, that's a pretty good thumbnail.